My name is Phil Baudreau. My name is Dewan Parker. We're AOE. And it's coming back home. Um, we've been out in LA for a long time and haven't had a chance to come back to the East Coast, so it feels really great to be playing Boston as our first show out here. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, um, this kid had a, a party uh, about uh, two, three years ago, and uh, we knew a bunch of mutual people from Berkeley, and uh, so one of them invited me out. And uh, of course, you know, Berkeley cats, there's always musicians around, there's always instruments around. So uh, I heard him jamming along, and I was like, man, you know, we should play some music sometime. And uh, we did, and then the rest was history. It's just like that. Yeah, that was the, the first uh, song we worked on, the first idea we worked on, a musical idea. And um, basically, um, I liked how it came out, so I just let Dre hear it. I sent it to him just to see if he had any critiques or thoughts. And uh, he really enjoyed the hook. He really liked Phil's voice, and he said, you guys should go uh, uh, out and do some writing with M. You know, Dre was out there, so they flew us out there. They flew us out, and that was insane. That was like my first time meeting Dre or M, and uh, it was definitely kind of um, just from a different world. I didn't know what to do, but it was good. It was a good experience, and uh, we made some decent music while we were there too, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah, and I think uh, it was a confidence boost uh, that you know that we were were honing in on a sound, and that uh, we made good music together, so we continued. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's had a tremendous, uh, profound effect on my production. Uh, I learned a lot about space, I learned a lot about sonics, and just uh, putting my best foot forward all the time. I learned a lot about how to produce vocals and, and work with artists and get the best out of them. And uh, you know, he demands a lot and uh, also has a high standard, and I try to have one myself. So it's, uh, it's been an incredible experience, and now I've been able to take all of that into building what I'm building with High Renaissance and with AOE, with Phil, and uh, we're just gonna continue the movement. It was so easy to make music together that it seemed just like a bad idea not to. Um, we got together with uh, with Lost. We made that track together. That was pretty effortless. We were able to communicate really well over the phone together. Um, whenever we'd be working together in the studio, that was really effortless as well. And beyond that, just visual ideas or the stuff that we like to see even beyond the musical element. It was like we had the same idea for each thing. So we knew it was something that we had to put together, make it an official, and that's what it is, AOE, which is all or everything. Ambassadors of Earth. Ambassadors. We'll let you guys make up more acronyms the, as time the good goes ones along. Out there, yeah. Yeah. I think that it's uh it's everything, you know, all or everything. I think uh, it you know it started off as us just making music and collaborating together, and of uh, of course our vision has uh, developed, our ethos has become big, and uh, we want to be able to touch the world. I mean, in all kinds of different ways. Right. Yeah. yeah no absolutely. formula. It could be, uh, I start off with a keyboard part that I send to him and he finishes the whole thing. Or he could have an idea that uh, I shape around. Um, and then when we're able to be in the same room and start something from scratch, uh, we both play multiple instruments. So, uh, you know, we kind of just let it be organic and see where the music takes us. A lot of room to be creative. That's pretty much the, the seed that starts anything. So. Whether he's making the beat or I'm making the beat, um, whether he's got vocal ideas or I got vocal ideas, it's it's pretty much anything goes. We've worked with different artists uh, in terms of the process of how that goes down. You know, uh, we have relationships with artists, so you know it's been great. We're able to go uh, have an artist come visit us at the studio, or we run into somebody just uh, you know just in the process of being out in LA. Um, and uh, we're going to continue to do that. Uh, you know, we make beats that aren't just songs for him for his album, or that aren't just songs for my record. So uh, yeah, our production is is, uh, is available to uh, to who's dope. It's a pretty important day. Um, my mom was running the race actually last year, and she was around the the finish of it um, when they stopped her and told her that the race was over. And it was a real big impact. We were both in L.A., but it felt like. Um, I don't know, like someone took something from me. Uh, I think everybody felt took took the loss last year really personally. So it's it's cool to be back in Boston on the anniversary to, to you know put some positive vibes in the air and make people feel good. The way that I could think of saying it is that LA is a city that does not have any bottom to it. Meaning there's nothing that you can grab onto that can make you feel like you're a part of it. You have to find your own thing there. Boston 
I've found that you can hang on to certain things. It's got its colonial history. It's got uh, its Red Sox. So people are really into certain things here, and everybody's kind of into them the same way. And so there's a way to be a part of that. Um, the main difference for me is that you go to L.A. and you kind of have to find all that stuff for yourself. Man, Ether, Ether took everything out of me. It, it was a, it was one of those projects that I was like, I got to do this or, or stop doing music. So I put everything I had into it, everything that I thought I could be. It, the, the music is far more confident than I was feeling when I was writing it. So it was all my hopes and all my dreams, and as best I could make music at that time. Um, and working with Dewan was amazing on it because he helped me put that into perspective and get the uh, get the, all the songs to have the right voice. So yeah, I mean, just as far as yeah, as far as that goes, it just it took everything. If you enjoy the record, you'll enjoy it live. You know, it's going to be a new experience. It's a it's a different interactive experience, and we just want to bring the energy and the vibe of the project to the people and just have a good time with them. Well, we both have Twitter, and that's our names. Mine is P H I L B E A U D R E A U, and Dewan's is D A W A U N P A R K E R. I don't know how to spell, so that's why he did that. <laughs> Wait. That's anyway, right. no, you're he's such you're such a better speller than I am. Seriously, he corrected me on my own name once. I misspelled my own name. I, was, I don't want to talk you're about it. Too busy working, making music. <laughs> it's tough. Uh, and we're, uh, you know, we're both uh, on Tumblr um, at We Are AOE and uh, uh, iTunes. Ether's on iTunes. Yeah, Ether's on SoundCloud. Yeah, help and, me pay uh, rent. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the record of the year, in my opinion. It's your boy Phil. This is Dwayne Parker. Shout out to anyhiphop.com. One love.